One of the most common questions beginner artists ask themselves is how do I learn to draw from imagination? And drawing from imagination can be a very challenging task, especially if you are starting off in your art journey. And in this video, I'm going to show you some steps that you can follow to learn how to draw from imagination quickly. So first of all, the key is to start simple and to build your skills gradually over time. Most people make the mistake of jumping the gun and trying to draw portraits and the human body right away. But these are very complex subjects that can be hard to draw even with models. So it's best to start with clear objects that have very simple geometric forms like boxes for example. To get started, you should begin by drawing from observation. So take boxes or other kinds of objects with very simple clear geometric forms in front of you and draw them in many different angles. So that way you are going to start to understand how perspective works. And after that, try drawing some boxes uh, from different angles, but from your imagination. That way you are going to train your mind to visualize the objects that you want to draw and you are going to be able to move it around in your head. As you practice, you will be able to draw more and more complex objects. Once you build up your skills and you can now draw complex objects that are around you in your day-to-day -day life from imagination after having observed them a lot, you can try to start learning how to draw the head. For that, the best way is to get on a Sketchfab and search for the Azaro head. That's a model of a generic head that has some simple geometric shapes that are well defined and that way you are going to learn how to simplify the shapes of the head. You need to study the Azaro head a lot and in a lot of different angles before trying to start drawing it from imagination and mastering it. After that you will have a good grasp on how the head is constructed and uh, you will be able to better draw a face from imagination. Don't just draw the Azaro head, that's a good starting point, but after that go and find portraits online that you, you can study as well because if you study too much the Azaro head you will only tend to be able to draw one face. But there's so much variety in the different faces of people that uh, you should always keep your mind open to the different facial features, the different kinds of noses, the different shapes of the mouth, the different shapes of the eyes, that studying other portraits will help you increase your visual library for faces. And once you have a handle on how to draw faces, you might want to consider learning how to paint portraits. So for that, I created a tutorial for you that's available on my Drumroad store. And this tutorial is going to show you how to paint a portrait from scratch. I show you how to paint a male and a female portrait with a lot of explanation, how to define the skin tones, how to light and how to control the values of a portrait and have a realistic rendering. So if you're interested, go visit my drum roll store and the link is in the description down below. Learning how to draw the body from imagination is very different than the face. A figure drawing is made up of two main elements, the gesture and the structure. The gesture is the movement of the body and can be shown with big, simple sweeping lines. It's usually more 2D and flat and on top of that comes the structure, which is the 3D forms that make up the body. So that's why you need to be able to draw boxes in many different perspectives and angles because the body can be simplified in cylinders and boxes that are in many different perspectives. And if you can do all of that, you've already mastered the first step to create a human body from imagination. After that, you need to learn the anatomy, so how the muscles work, where they attach, where to put vol volumes in, so that you can have a realistic anatomy for your characters. In my experience, the best way to learn how to draw the human body from imagination is to start by having a reference picture that you copy first, then you change your page and you stop looking at the reference picture and you try to redraw exactly the same pose and the same character from your memory. That way you are going to increase your visual library and you are going to get used to visualize the body in your mind much more. There is such a whole glorification to drawing from imagination but you have to remember that even the best artists use references every day to draw. You should absolutely not disregard reference pictures. You should use references for inspiration and to understand the piece proportions and structure of the subject that you want to draw but do not try to copy your reference the best artists use reference as a guide but not as a crutch and if you want to have more information on how to use reference pictures i created a video for you on my youtube channel so drawing from imagination is a process that takes time and a lot of practice but following the steps that i just gave you i'm sure that you will learn very quickly how to draw from imagination and i wish you good luck and i see you in the next one bye guys